were a choice. I can't do that. I can't. Serious. You but you know what?
So we're going to drive and hand to Donald as you hear him in his private We got five prizes in total. You get a joker, you can surprise his big page, and he's a big prize. So, uh, But this is a ride that Boogie started really in 2022. As he wanted the motorcycle riders to come to visit his hometown branch. He wanted to share the town spirit and the rider spirit with one another. I won't forget the smile on his face when all the motorcycles met him at the North Atlantic on Centenary Line. I guarantee it was bright when he stared in the sky. We left the North Atlantic gas station with Googie in the lead on the Saturday. 
on our way to France. Have you seen the poster? I guarantee you, he was grinning from ear to ear as he rolled out the highway. He pulled into the Canadian Center with great pride that day. Gogi had great pride and great love for the community of Branch. He did so much in his lifetime to help others in need and to support his community. He never had the word no in his vocabulary. He was always there to lend a helping hand. He was a newfound rider. He was a volunteer firefighter for 30 plus years. And to the best of my knowledge, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I believe he helped to get the dirt out of the road in the community and the communities around him. He worked on getting the Meritorious Award from the Vega de Nine. It took a long time to get that. That was the little lemonade stand girl who passed away with cancer from the Governor General of Canada. He made many trips in the country to find people that were lost or broke down in the woods to bring them home safe and sound. He was always there for his friends, for his family, and for his loved ones. Googie represented what loving kindness is all about. He taught us all that love is patient, love is kind, love does not envy, not self-seeking, keeps no records of right or wrongs, but it rejoices in the truth, it always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres in the hardest of times, and that love never fails. All these things define who he was. He showed each and every one of us what life is supposed to be well. Caring, sharing, and loving for one another no matter what life throws your way. That's who he was. I believe this is what he wanted each and every one of us to continue to keep on doing. Each and every day. And I also believe a little bit of Gogi lives in our whole house. All we have to do is keep on showing a little bit of loving kindness to one another, just like Gogi did. And this world will become a better place, one person at a time and one day at a time. I'm not a really good speaker, but these are my words. <laughs> I'm going to close my little bit of stuff I had to say by saying this. There's an iron kind of writer's patch here in the war of the for Boogie. And he always used to say to me, never give up, never back down. And to me, never give up can mean many things. Never give up when times get hard. Or when you face challenges in life. Never give up on your friends. Never give up on hope. And never give up on love. He applied those words in everything he did and in every challenge he faced. So I'm going to get Melissa now to present what we raised today. To help a family with a sick child. This is something that was near and dear to Boogie's heart, as he was a Newfound Rider. The Newfound Riders and Newfound Foundation raise funds each year to a ticket sales in the Harlem to help sick kids and their families right here at home in Newfoundland and Labrador. And Gogi was always looking for tickets. So, <laughs> we
I was co proud to call him a new fellow writer, more importantly, proud to call, call him a brother. And I miss him dearly. What we had to think about what we did here today. And all these wonderful people here today that did an amazing job. So today, the donations raised today was $2,500. And I'm tapping at $2,500. Newfound Riders donated another 500 bucks. <laughs> so we're going to raise over $3,000 for kids in. And we're handing the donation to the children. And that's so amazing. That's what people would be wanting us to do. We keep on doing those things. Very important to do that stuff. So great job, guys. And I want to thank each and every one of you uh, for coming out. It means a lot to Melissa and her family, and it means a lot to me and the new fellow runners. Next, I would like to get our president, the new fellow runners, Paul Curtis, to come up and make a presentation. This is a wonderful event. Hopefully, it'll become an annual event. I just hope that every year is not a surprise at all. But we'll keep on doing what we can do. Uh, so, at one of our monthly meetings, uh, Derek asked if Melissa could be a member. And we unanim unanimously agreed. So we'd like to present you. Uh, the staff. New fellow writer. Thank you. 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 Thank Fundraisers, <laughs> yeah. whatever, 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 dinner and dances, whatever you're going to go, you are an official member, and thank you very much. <laughs> and guys, that's what it's all about. So if anybody's interested in becoming a new fellow brother, she never told me. She never told me. Well, we, they're a great bunch of people. Darryl, the back. I know that in two ways. If I came to Mr. Lisco from Ryan, have a dare to have a laugh on Thursdays. But we raised funds to help sick kids in Newfoundland and the world. And that hit me right in the air. That's what we're supposed to be doing, guys, looking out for one another. I want to send a big thank you to all the writers, the co-writers, the families, the friends, and everyone who came out to support this ride today for Gogi. And also a big thank you to the volunteers who cooked and provided food today. And a big thank you to the community of Branch for showing each and every one of us some loving kindness today. God bless you all, and we hope to see you on next year's ride. And I do believe uh, Kelly wants a few words with my sister. And if anybody else would like to say anything, I want to. Kelly, you're not tired. Don't take a mess. Don't take a knee point. I'd like to thank you all on behalf of our family. Like Dick said, I'm Louise's younger sister. Um, today, all Googie's family is here with Melissa to enjoy this ride in honor of her brother. We thank you. I'm sure he's shining down uh, as her little Kinsley is my granddaughter. 
she uh, had open heart surgery at three months old in Halifax. So the funds that was collected today, the three thousand dollars, Kinsley does a fundraiser each year. We did it last year, uh, earlier in the year. We'll do it again this year. The money will be donated to the chain week, to the community at the chain week, to help other children who have similar problems as Miss Kinsley has, and hopefully they will all continue to be as well as she is. She is doing wonderful, and we're so happy for that. Thank you. Food left her. Please take some if not coats and garbage. No. Feel free to take some or have some more. And we look forward to hosting this again next year for each and every one of you. Thank you so much. All right, Zach, so we're going to go ahead and we one, one more story about Goody. I just remember because how Goody was. I remember a good while ago. I came down here in Woodstock, another boy I knew him as a friend. And he got stuck in the woods. Now, he came down the branch with a side of a side of the road. I was like, you don't do that. And he, uh, he got his stump. I said, Derek, <clears throat> what can you do? I said, well, let me make a phone call. I said, see what it will be like. So I called Gogi. He said, where is he to? I said, the page. What, what's his number? Give him the number. He said, You call us and tell him I'm on the way. He didn't hesitate. And he went out up there and he helped my buddy get out of there and ride home. And every time I runs into this guy, that's what he talks about. How go he came that day, dropped what he did. He went and got me out of the woods. We need more gummies. We need to do those things. That's one of the important reasons why I ride and do the charity rides, because there's always going to be a person or a family in need. Anyone who knew Gobi knew he put his, himself on the back burner. Gobi had everyone ahead of him. He was the last to the list. Gobi had the same relationship with the oldest man at Branch as he did with the smallest child at Branch. You could come in the road and he'd stop. You'd see him talking to the adults, but you'd also see the youngsters hanging out of his truck, carrying down the lap with him. He was alike with everyone. So boys, be like Gobi. You see somebody needs help, stop the whole. This life is too short. Sometimes it gets cut really quick on us. But the most important thing that I've learned in this life is be good to one another, be kind to one another, most importantly, love one another. So once again, thank you all for coming out. Have a safe ride back. I hope your bellies are full. And if somebody ate too much, just sit that little what on the book to turn your suspension up and give you a nice ride back. <laughs> God bless. Take care. Hope to see you next week. Bye. Thank you. Great, great in my little home community there, everybody. That was great. That made me quite happy, actually. I didn't care where I was going. Right now, wait. Oh, yeah, the family, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Thank mm -hmm. you.